In this tutorial, what we're going to be discussing is how to enter the gearbox properties um, into chassis sim. And what we define by gearbox properties, we're talking gear ratios and differentials. So to do that, what we do is we click, if we have the open wheeler picture, we click on the belt, the upper bell crank, or if we have a touring car picture, we click on the gearbox icon. So. What we've got here is if we um, uh, click on um, uh, the gear, if we click on the gearbox option, you can see our gearbox parameter dialog turns up. So, the first parameter is the torque split. Obviously, um, and this is basically percentage of wheels, uh, uh, the uh, uh, percentage of um, drive on the front axle. Now, clearly, this is a rear-wheel drive car, so this is set at zero, and and one would be front-wheel drive. Here we specify um, the differential type for the front and the differential type for the rear. So basically we've got four choices. One is an open diff, two is the super diff, three is a lock diff, and four is, um, the, is um, the customizable diff that you can use to um, represent uh, a limited um, uh, slip diff. So for the sake, uh, as you can see, this model is set, this model is a V8 supercar and set on um, a uh, and it's obviously set to um, being a locked diff. However, if we were dealing with a situation that um, we could run a limited uh, a limited slip diff, then we would just simply choose four. We would go to rear diff properties, and we would go to axis properties calculator. And this brings up the differential calculator. So basically, what we've got here, uh, uh, what we've got here is that we this is basically represents import force as what it would look like at the wheel, and this is differential wheel speed. And what we have here is a plot of differential force. So, for example, let me go. Let me walk you through an example. Let's just say that we've got um, our minimum uh, force vis-a-vis the brake at minus thirty thousand, and our maximum traction at twenty thousand. And let's just say that we basically put in a locking ratio of twenty percent, and basically a free play of about point oh five uh, about point oh five meters per second. That's if we'd engage a little bit of preload on the diff. To basically just give it a little bit of free, uh, to give it a little bit of free play. Then, if we were to click on OK, what we've got here is that um, basically at a condition of uh, of an input force of twenty thousand newtons and a differential wheel speed of 0.6 of a meter uh, per second, basically two thousand newtons is going to the wheel. Uh, is that basically two thousand newtons is going to the wheel that is spinning uh, that is uh, that um, is spinning the least. And we've taken away 2,000 newtons from the wheel that is spinning the most. And um, to commit that, we click on OK. Now, we can also export that diff to a text file. So to give you an example, we'll just um, set up a folder here called diffs. And we just, uh, we'll just call this my diff. And we'll just call this example Differential. Click on OK. Lo and behold, um, we've now created the text file, and we can import that text file by basically going to Import Text File, selecting on My Differential, and that will load the differential in for us. Moving on to the gear ratios. Now, the gear ratios in chassis sim are effectively torque multipliers. They're effectively measuring the ratio of um, uh, engine speed over wheel uh, over wheel speed. Most gearbox uh, most gearbox manuals will quote you. Um, the other way around, they will quote you um, wheel speed on engine R, on engine RPM, but that's no uh, but that's no problem. All you've got to do is multiply your current gear ratio. If you've got say a twelve twenty, if you've got say an eighteen twenty five ratio with a final drive of thirteen on thirty four, all you've got to do is multiply those two numbers together, take the inverse, and that is basically what you put into your appropriate gear ratio. We also have a gear calculator. Now, what you can do is that you can basically load up a gearbox. I've um, uh, I've basically um, uh, loaded up a, um, a gear. Uh, I've uh, selected this particular gearbox, and we basically can choose from a set of different ratios. So this way, if you've already got a number of predefined ratios, you can already just go. Uh, 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 we can basically select them from here. And basically, uh, and then basically click on OK, and that will apply 
the ratios to here. Now, if for, if for instance you're coming from a situation where um, you've, uh, if you're coming from a situation where you've got a fresh gearbox, that's okay. All you need to do is go to add gearbox and you describe it as gearbox name and you just simply can call it my gearbox and you assign the number of ratios which for the sake of the argument let's do it a six click on OK sure enough there's my gearbox and now we can start adding ratio so I can call this a my ratio which is 13 on 31 and then uh, well actually let's just keep this uh, keep this simple we can select this as 10 on 30 and then I would basically enter my uh, my value as three click on OK and lo and behold that's my selection and I can basically build this up for the whole picture. Now this is basically assigned to an INI file, so you can also edit this manually as well. Okay, so that basically is the gearbox calculator. You've also got the option of assigning rev limits for each individual gear. So this is basically a simple text file that you can simply write out and you basically, the format of um, uh, the format of the file is covered um, in uh, the online help. However, the uh, basically it's a simple space delimited or a tab delimited file with gear number, minimum RPM, max RPM, and then you just simply click on that, uh, and then you simply uh, click on that um, to use it. And just to show you where that online help is, it's go, it's help, chassis sim help, and if you go into gearbox and differential properties, and sure enough. That's basically the for, uh, that's basically the format that um, uh, you need to use. There are no ha there are no files or headers that you need to uh, that you need to um, uh, worry about. So that basically, in a nutshell, covers how you do gear uh, how you enter in your gearbox per uh, uh, your gearbox parameters.